And new developments tonight into the investigation into that tragic Ripta bus accident involving a Ripta bus that struck and killed a nine-year-old girl last week. The new report says the Ripta bus driver was not at fault, and there are pictures to back that up. After logging through surveillance video, investigators found the little girl ran out into the traffic. NBC 10's Allison Bologna live now with more on the findings tonight. Dan, the conclusion right now is that the Ripta bus that hit that little girl was involved in an accident, so no wrongdoing and that no laws were broken, no operator error, no mechanical problems with the bus. Yeah, I think we're still um, very sad here. More than a week after a tragic accident in which Ani Emjin was killed, police have released its report. Video from area businesses and dash camps on the bus have been helping in the process. The girl, police say, was crossing the street north towards the gas station when the Ripta bus hit her. The bus was traveling away from the state house. That it remains a very, very tragic accident, and um, and our hearts do go out to them. So we appreciate all the investigatory work by the Providence Police. After a routine drug test, police concluded that the bus driver Eric Seberg was quote clear. They examined the bus and found no mechanical problems. Accident reconstruction also indicated that the bus was moving below the speed limit on the street at the time of the accident. The conclusion: no operator error. This week, we did bring in some employee, employee assistance um, counseling. We made it available to um, our drivers and other employees. But we have heard that drivers are um, they're upset, they're nervous. You know, nobody wants this to happen. The driver remains on leave, and refresher courses for all drivers, more than 200 of them, are taking place in Ripta's mission to keep the road safe. It's an eight-hour course with three hours in the classroom and more behind the wheel with an instructor. They also go over. Um, trouble spots, blind spots, and they also listen to the drivers about perhaps things they've observed on the road and things that they might want to work on. I mean, obviously. And to recap, that little girl was just nine years old. I did speak off camera with someone who was working at the gas station across the street when this accident happened about the results of this investigation. He was too upset to go on camera about it, saying it's all just so horrific. Allison Bologna, NBC 10 News.